Can you believe it? We're on lesson five and three tenths already, adding fractions. So why are we adding fractions? Well, we need to increase our knowledge of fractions themselves and we need to be prepared for further work with fractions, which you will be seeing quite often, especially um, in the later years, but you're gonna, you're gonna work with them this year, you're gonna work with them next year and all through your math career. So we've got a couple of methods that we're gonna look at. The first method is to actually use a fraction number line so let's say that we have the equation 1 fourth plus 3 fourths. I can look up here on my number line and I'm going to start at 1 fourth because that's my first fraction and I am going to jump to the right three graduation marks 1, 2, 3 and that of course is going to be the whole number 1 so that gives me four fourths or the whole number one as my answer. So let's say that we now have the equation two fifths plus one fifth. Where are we going to start? Well, my first fraction is two fifths. So I'm going to start here and I am going to move one graduation mark because we're adding one fifth to that. So in this instance, my answer would be 3 fifths. So let's say that we have 3 eighths plus 2 eighths. Where am I going to start for this equation? I'm going to first find my eighths number line, and I'm going to start at 3 eighths, and I'm going to jump to the right one, two spots, and my answer is going to be 5 eighths. For this next method, we're going to look at using fraction circles instead of a number line to add our fractions. So if I have the equation 3 fourths plus 3 fourths, that means that I have three of these pieces, right, because that's in fourths, plus another three. So that means I'm going to take one from here, another from here, and another from here. How many fourths would that be? It would be a total of six fourths. Now notice that my denominator stays the same in all of these equations that we've done. The denominator never changes. But what happens to the numerator? The numerator is what we're adding together. So we're adding this three plus this three and we get six. So here's another fraction circle example. Let's say that I have 2 eighths plus 4 eighths. I'm going to get out my fraction circle that has 8 pieces, of course. And I am going to look at taking 2 of those pieces, which represents my 2 eighths, and then 4 more pieces, and we add those together. So who knows what the total is? Hopefully you're figuring out a strategy here, but my 2 plus 4 is equal to 6, and my 8 remains an 8. So my answer would be 6 eighths. So in class with this lesson, we will use number lines to solve fraction addition number stories. So it's not going to be as simple as the ones that I gave you. You're going to have to look at a number story. And we're also going to use fraction circles to solve fraction addition number stories as well. So stay tuned. I'll see you in class.